Jesus continued to manifest himself. Jesus continued to pursue and build anticipation. Not only with the, the 11 who were left, not only with the immediate disciples, not only with the 120 that, that would be in the upper room, but it says he manifests himself to 500 people. He showed himself alive. See, Jesus was building anticipation. Jesus was building anticipation because anticipation builds the church. When you get up on Sunday morning, are you anticipating what God's going to do for you on Sunday morning? On Monday, are you waking up anticipating what God's going to do for you on Monday morning? Are you in such anticipation about what God's going to do for you on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning that you're telling somebody about it? And you're saying, you've got to come with me on Thursday night. You've got to come with me on Sunday morning. I'm so anticipating what God is going to do because every time I show up, God is performing miracles. God is moving mountains. God is doing something. See, that's anticipation. When you're a kid, you're anticipating that, that whatever it is, the, 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 the doll, the truck, the, 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 the erector, whatever is in that, the video game, whatever is in that present is going to be something so exciting. You want everybody to know about it. You want everybody to be there. You want everybody to be part of the event. But do we treat the gospel that way? Are we so excited that we, we, we are trying to compel others to come with us on Sunday morning? Come and see what the Lord is doing. Come and see a group of people who are willing to believe God for anything.